Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel on LELP Society at LELP.net This session I'm going to teach you another unit of 1100 words you need to know week 29 day 2 New words Exhort Exhort means to urge strongly, to advise, uh, to persuade, encourage, cajole someone into, do into doing something or into something. And the noun form is exhortation. Apathy. Apathy means uh, lack of interest, unconcern. Because pathy in Latin means actually a feeling. So when there is apathy, it means there is no feeling or interest. Fracas, American, uh, fraca, fraca, British English. So fracas means noisy fight or brawl. Uh, arguments, maybe actually using some sort of violence, but not so much. Fray. F R A Y, so this is frac fracas. Inebriated. Inebriated means intoxicated and drunk, not sober. Uh, okay, you are under the influence of alcohol. Adversary means enemy, foe, opponent. The opposite side, opposition. Okay. The context. Ra, ra, ra. This is an interjection uh, in order to show your excitement about something. The spectators means viewers. At a football game, play more than a superficial role superficial means shallow means not deep or profound it means that the viewers in a football match actually play a very important role a spirited cheer from the stands often gives the player on the field a reason to try even harder spirited means motivated encouraging spirit spirited cheer means shout applause a p p l a u s e applause clapping shouting from the stands stand here refers to the specific let's say platform in which the spectators are uh, the spectators are and actually at that place they start cheering the football players often gives the player on the field means inside the field a reason to try even harder because actually they the spectators encourage the football players cheerleaders exhort the fans who may be in a state of apathy because their team is losing Cheerleaders uh, refers to actually those specific, uh, or let's say, people who step into the field, particularly in the middle of the matches, uh, and they just get dressed. Usually, women or ladies they get dressed specially, uh, and they perform a kind of special dance in order to motivate the um, football players or even actually basketballers basketball players and uh, yeah these are called uh, cheerleaders but here I suppose um, actually even spectators who are th excited or thrilled could be called cheerleaders as well exhort or advise or encourage, motivate, or stimulate the fans who may be in a state of apathy because their team is losing. To spare on the team. Spare here means to 
again stimulate and inspire. In particularly close games between rivals of long standing, close, not close, close means near, it means that the, mm, the competition is so fierce and stiff and long last rival means competitors rival contestants uh, and long lasting means for continuing for a long time Feel, uh, feelings begin to run high it means in these long lasting games usually feelings become more intense and from time to time means occasionally sometimes but not often from time to time a fracas may break out means suddenly start to exist emerge show up break out in this stance while the teams compete below below refers to the playing field uh, the fan who is a bit inebriated means excited doesn't necessarily mean drunk means excited or intoxicated or get carried away or uh, emotionally influ influenced may seek out means uh, try to find out or look for a personal adversary a personal adversary it means that actually the uh, enthused or thrilled audience or let's say uh, fans spectators may try to find some enemies you know to um, have arguments with fight against on the other hand it means uh, I'm sorry on the whole on the whole it means in general generally on the whole the enthusiasm or gusto or great interest of the spectators is usually constricted means limited to cheering means motivating verbally particularly and shouting for their favorite teams okay it's clear now sample sentences uh, the feeling of apathy was so prevalent prevalent means ubiquitous and uh, so dominant during the uh, the election campaign that the candidates hardly bothered to make speeches okay it means that actually uh, they were less or least motivated the feeling of uh, apathy was so prevalent or ubiquitous or everywhere uh, in that election campaign uh, so that or competition the candidates actually were not in the mood to uh, give lectures or speeches doctors ignored obese obese means too fat obese individuals to go on diets okay doctors advise overweight people to go on diets or to go on a diet it was usually sedate means calm but when inebriated he became hostile generally he was calm but when he was for example under the influence of alcohol or even intoxicated it depends actually he became antagonistic and uh, vehement or violent yeah the fracas started when he besmirched my good name the argument broke out when he Besmirch. Besmirch means to destroy somebody's reputation, to defame, D-E-F-A-M-E, -E. my good name. So when he just uh, destroyed or shattered my reputation, actually there was a fray or argument.
or fight. My adversary became disgruntled when my arguments were so cogent. My opponent, my enemy became disgruntled means displeased, discontented, disgruntled. You can make sure that you can also use the flashcards that automatically pop up when you just place the cursor of your mouse. Just visit my website here, lelb.net, to make the most, the most, the best use or the most use of uh, actually all the features free, freely available. My adversary or opponent became disgruntled or unhappy because my arguments were so cogent, convincing, logical, cogent. Okay, because of the fact that I have zoomed in, actually the photos cannot fit into the desk to the screen, but you can do it on your own. So what was that? Yeah. My arguments were so cogent, convincing, and that just uh, put my adversary in an angry mode. Okay, so angry mode means feeling. So about the idiom, a fly in the ointment. Yeah. A fly in the ointment means something, uh, some small things that is spoil, that spoils or lessens the enjoyment. Say a wet blanket. Okay, something that destroys or takes away somebody's pleasure. He was offered a lucrative means money making, profitable, prolific position with the firm or company or organization, but uh, the fly in the ointment was that he would have to work on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, so we could make a fortune in that position in the firm or organization or institution, but the problem was that he had to, he did not have any holiday or off day. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, vocab lesson. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive the upcoming videos. Thank you and bye-bye.